Hello guys, in this tutorial I want to show you step by step how to manage your APIs. So in uh, some new uh, how to test your product or how to test your uh, APIs. So in some new you are going to you know to managing all your APIs. So you are going to get our new post or using to update or are you deleting on to testing your all APIs so if there's any uh, thing or any uh, your document having any problem or you're going to test and see your all uh, product or your all uh, API is working perfectly so in this tutorial I want to show you step by step uh, you're going to get using get get is meant to get you receiving to any data or any document and also you are going to post so if someone posts or if you post something so you are going to get okay and uh, how to update and also deleting so i want to show you step by step you are going to guys using so guys in get here you see i how many uh document i have here many document right many customers so this is a big uh data for apis i'm using here you see many customers i'm using here now so this all is my code is working perfectly uh not js and mongodb uh to work perfectly so i want to show you how you are going to guys uh to testing or to doing these things so guys uh just uh not not JS uh, is opening resource cross platform for JavaScript runtime environmentals. It's working in Unix and also in Windows. All of us we know Not JS uh, for backends for opening resource and cross platform for JavaScript runtime uh, environmental. And also we have a uh, MongoDB. MongoDB is a source available cross platform. Uh, document or documentation or then database uh, programming to classify it as no SQL database it's meaning no related database like not SQL like is uh, no related database so we have a SQL database and we have a non SQL database right so so we are using now no SQL database so this it will you know all uh, no SQL database it will generate as you see automatically uh, uh, this uh, ID okay so you see this uh, name nor so MongoDB it's the uh, uh, you see here nor the generate as MongoDB uh, this ID so in this we using MongoDB and uh, NoSQL uh, database and uh, we have a uh, Express Express is our uh, simply uh, simply back in for applications express is simply back in web application framework for building rest api with uh, node js related as free open source software so these are uh, three uh, things uh, we are using and also we have a uh, node moon node moon is for uh, if you have a change anything in your code it Moon directly to tell you or to show you you change something or you change in application anything you change so it will tell you uh, not more directly or if there's any wrong on your code error not more it will tell you exactly where the uh, your uh, error is come from so it is a very good to use in this one and also I want to show you my code in my next tutorial old code you are going to see and also I uh, post it in my channel if you guys you are interested you're going to uh, use that course I'm happy you are going to uh, watch that tutorial and then to get the, the ideas and then going to uh, use like this you see this is the working perfectly there is no any error so guys uh, let's go to create and uh, delete and uh, update and the post so using this one APIs you are going to uh, get the ideas how it's working okay so we have now here guys uh, get 
and get we have http localhost i'm using 5000 users this is my file so last in this one get now okay let's go to use nur nur123 uh to change this one okay uh one two three so this is our guys uh let's go to get using it okay guys let's go to check where we get Uh, guys uh, okay okay and then come to here just to change to pause look guys so now we already this uh, one two three and mongodb now no one two three so now this document mongodb directly uh, generate us you see this id you see guys and then guys we are going to change here uh now we want to update something right let's go to update something here leave like this we are going to update uh get it more one instead of one two three just say 23 and leave only 23 because we want to update this one right so guys take let's copy this id and then to come to here put is meaning for updating okay we want to update guys okay so now we want to update this document right because we have a thousand or hundred of uh document right we don't want to uh delete or we don't want to uh, update all of them right so we want to delete a specific number right a specific customer right we don't want to work anymore right so in that we just come to here to take the id this id and then we are going to uh, only to delete these customers we don't want to delete all of them right so because of that we're using id so id or you know it is a good for customer documentation so now we want to update this customer right that's the same guys look so our message already successful so it's meaning we already uh updated this document see so in this way we it's a perfect to how to manage your apis so yeah well, this guys it's for really professional and also for beginners this course it's for you know who want to become a master in apis you know how to using api so how to manage your uh, product how to manage your apis right this course is really for you because i just made for you and you understanding how to work right because i'm doing here slowly and slowly and to giving you the good instruction you're going to learning and how to test and how to you know uh to update and delete and you know uh to creating uh many documents right so you, you you can create many documents here right whatever you want you can create many documents like this and then guys go to use and that's so all last guys go to delete this document right so how we can do it last uh we leave this id we want to delete this uh this document right so just we go to here and then use using delete functions so let's go and then to run and then if uh we get successful to delete this document right guys look our message is fully deleted so because this customers is already gone we already deleted because we use it in the id and also guys in my application i use it in my project i use it another function called get so i have a two gets so all of these uh, uh documents i already created so all these are customers so now i want to go to receive all of them how we can do that one let's go to delete uh, we don't want the id this one okay slash and then let's go to use again uh, get so this is a very guys for professional things okay i already 
uh, did in this course and the last go to send again we want to receive all those that is right yes guys look you see and then this one no one two three it is already gone guys we don't have here you see it's gone we don't have it but i have another all of them you see here so guys this course how it's working apis if you have any problem with the apis so uh write me down or ask me i want to help you how to using apis or how to using product so to see you in my next tutorial for uh not moon uh not yes